on people, but on the need to accommodate New Yorkers. She didn't let us forget. And that accountability is so important. And you know, Edith told it like it was. Um, and for me, it is in telling it like it was that um, she really showed who she was because it came from a place of passion. Fix these doors. I'm gonna go by later and see. Um, the second issue, she was brilliant. Edith had an intellect, she was well read, she was well versed, she had incredible knowledge. The New York Times article talked about the straw story, that was hysterical, because you would go to a hearing, you think you're doing the right thing, and then Edith would pop up and say, no, 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 no. And I love because she hated some people, I hated the same people, and she would miss them. She would list them. She loved Victor. She loved Victor. And so it was a constant either laughing, crying, or advocacy. You didn't know what day you would be in with her. So she is powerful. She's, she's powerful forever. Not many people can say that. It was because she was loyal to the cause. She was incredibly good. At was fierce. If you lived in her world, you know why. The same battles every single day. As you can see, we're on Overlook Terrace. Edith was determined that people with disabilities not be overlooked. She lived, worked, and served with the people of Washington Heights, Inwood, and beyond for over 40 years. Writer, but I have a whole thing about Edith and how wonderful she is and the things that she accomplished. And there's so many like stories around Edith. And um, if Edith didn't yell at you, you were not worth it. <laughs> See, everyone's laughing. I mean, she yelled at all of you to all the right people. So it was easier for everybody to have the same opportunities. She dedicated her life to paving an easier road for those that came after her. A road